This is a short introduction to the dose response evaluation tool in Helax TMS. The tool provides a convenient way to calculate TCP and NTCP values for individual tumor volumes and risk organs, as well as composite control and complication probabilities, and ultimately P, the overall probability of local tumor control without severe normal tissue complications. The tool lists all the regions of interest previously drawn by the user. For each region of interest, the ROI type can be specified. Tumor, organ at risk or neither. The tool is capable of accounting for fractionation and cell repopulation. Enter the number of treatment fractions and the time span between the first and the last fraction. When the tool is initially displayed, the treatment planning system automatically samples a statistically sufficient number of dose points in each region of interest and calculates dose in these points. After completed calculation, it's convenient to renormalize the dose distribution to a desired level, for example, 2 gray per fraction in the tumor. For tumors, a single response model applies complete cell kill, but this can be expressed in many different ways. For example, it can be described with the TD50 value and the gamma value, that is, the slope of the dose response curve. When a sufficient set of parameters for calculating TCP are available, the tool automatically calculates the TCP value for the tumor at the current dose level. It is possible to apply, for example, an alpha-beta correction value to account for fractionation. After entering the alpha-beta correction, the TCP value is automatically recalculated. Similarly, the potential doubling time of tumor cells and the accompanying cell loss factor can be entered. Upon entry, the TCP value is again automatically recalculated. The effect of a delayed treatment can be examined. A change in the number of days with, for example, a week will automatically be reflected in the TCP value. For risk organs, four different NTCP models are available. The seriality model, the probit or lyman kutcher berman model, the critical element model and the critical volume model. As for the TCP calculation, we can specify the D50 level of complication and the dose response slope. For the Lyman Kutcher Berman model, the slope parameter is denoted M. The NTCP models generally contain a volume dependency parameter. In the Lyman Kutcher Berman model, the volume dependency parameter is denoted N. When a sufficient set of NTCP parameters has been entered, the NTCP value for this risk organ is automatically calculated. If the NTCP is higher than acceptable, it is possible to directly enter an acceptable NTCP value to see how the entire dose level will be affected by this NTCP reduction. Based on the calculated TCP and NTCP values, the composite P plus value is automatically calculated. The delta value handles the level of independent response between tumor and risk organs. For delta 0, the response is completely dependent, and for delta 1, the response is completely independent. This was a brief presentation of the dose response evaluation tool in Helax TMS. As outlined in this presentation, the tool provides extensive and powerful support for conveniently evaluating treatment plans in terms of estimated dose response.